Here's it's Simply Pam, and I just wanted to um, show you how to do the how I start up my um, cards on Cricut Craft Room, as well as start um, my um, how I do my the sizing. Sorry. So what I do first is I use the I change the filter to all types. You can um, go to just um, the Craft Room exclusives. That'll probably you'll find it easier. And I go to the basics. And then I select one of the um, rectangles and just drag it up there. And I'm going to change the sizing. I'm going to put the relative on for real dial size. I'm going to change it to real dial size. And then unhook the chain. And I'm going to make this 5x5. Five five. So I'm going to make a 5x5 five si five size um, layer. This is my um, first layer. I'm making a 5.5x5.5 five 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 size card. And so um, this is my main layer with the has images on it, and it's going to be five by five. So let me just change this back to five, and then um, link it up. And then take, make sure you take off the real dial, so it's relative. Now I'm going to go back to, um, and this, and then I kind of, I kind of um, put the the items in the picture in the square to see if everything will fit. And that's how I, I make sure my sizing is all perfect. Now I'm going to be making a snowman. And I'm going to be choosing snow friends. And I'm going to do... I forgot which one I'm doing here. Um, let's see. The head arms. This, okay. So I'm going to drag this up here. And I'm going to select current layer. And this is too big for what I'm wanting. So I'm going to change this to 3.5, and I'm going to have it kind of on a hill, so this is why it's, and um, this will be the perfect size. And to make sure that all your layers will match, you want to go to Options, and then in the Craft Room tab right here, you change the dial size to 3.5, and then that way all your layers will uh, match up. So I'm going to just bring this down a little bit. So um, this is the first layer, add to current layer, and then this will all match, so like see if you put this on here, it matches that perfectly. So, and then um, my next layer, add to current layer, and then my last one is the cheeks, and I'm not going to actually be using the cheeks, I'm going to be using a stamp, so I'm not going to add that at all. Okay, so then what you want to do is color um, with the with the Cricut Crafter and Imagine. You just color each what each of these are, and then um, then print and cut. That's all you need to do for this. And then um, you'll see what this ends up being later. Since I have this um, square right here, I'm actually going to put um, my background color on there, and, um, and so that will actually be my back my main layer. I'll kind of, hopefully I'll explain this a little bit better, but anyways. So, but if you're not going to be using it, just delete it. But I'm going to be actually flood filling it with a color, and it's going to be one of my layers, and so that's why I'm leaving it on there. But anyways, hope this explained a little bit on how to do the sizing. It took me a long time to figure out how to make sure everything um, comes out correctly, because if I change this to, to four, and I change this to four, it's going to be really large. So, um, just you know, make just add your main image first, change your sizing to what you want it then, and then go to options and make it make it the same size and then add your layers. So I hope that um, worked out for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, head on over to my blog, simply-pam.blogspot.com for more information. Thanks. Bye.